my friends, welcome back to another episode of Panda Life. I got my buddy Ryder with me, high five. Booyah. Guys, we're here in beautiful Bocas del Toro on the Caribbean side of Panama, near the Costa Rican border, and we're here at Scully's. This is a place where a lot of fun happens, and the owners are incredible humans. And I'm gonna go meet with Pirate Steve to talk a little bit about what brought him down here to Panama and why he decided on Bocas del Toro to start this amazing business where he has four wheelers, he's got different types of electric bikes, motor scooters, motorcycles, you name it, an incredible bar, pool with a waterfall. They do all kinds of fun things here, live music, gringo bingo, always happening here at Scully. So I'm really looking forward to talking to Pirate Steve and I'm gonna take my buddy Ryder and we're gonna go pick some flowers it looks like and let's do this. All right guys, I'm here with the one and only Pirate Steve, brother. Always good to see ya. I thought it was Scully. Scully, Pirate Steve, he's got uh, a bunch of nicknames. See, when you move to Panama, <laughs> you start up one name, and then and you, you get, get a like... second name, <laughs> and then you get a third name. So. so, I'm here with Scully, Pirate Steve. We won't talk about his third name yet. Um, and we are here at Scully's house, Scully's bar, and at Flying Pirates. These are three incredible businesses. And this is a man with a dream from LA, you know, like doing what you could be doing when you're sitting up in the US or Canada, thinking about Panama, we got this. So, Steve, tell me, what brought you to Panama? What was your first instinct that you wanted to check out Panama? Well, you wanna hear the real story, which is funny. I called my buddies out of Costa Rica. I said, I wanna to move to Costa Rica. And they said, don't, start over in Bocas del Toro, a lot more opportunity. So my wife and I, uh, I came up with that idea on a Friday night, took it to breakfast on Saturday. <laughs> and Saturday afternoon, I started selling everything. I, Dude, that's like me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I had never been to Panama before the day I moved here. So you I came, came here, I, I sold sight everything. unseen, I'm changing my life. Don't put your stuff in storage. It's a complete waste of money. Sell it, get rid of it. I came with a few suitcases, my dog, everything I own, ended up here. Bought a truck in Panama City, drove here, I'm like, this is cool, I'm staying. And you built some incredible businesses. So let's talk about what's the first business that you built here? Flying Pirates is our first business. We started with five, five ATVs, we built that up to 30. And then we got 30 e-bikes. What do we have? Motorcycles now. Scooters, motorcycles, we're getting into cars. There's a great, it's, uh, Panama is very business friendly. Uh, once you get in and you don't come in as the ar arrogant American, Everybody, they just love you. They love you. They want to help you. You give and... back to this. You give back a little bit, and they give. They give. A, they give a lot back. So they're they're awesome. Uh, I love this country. I will. I will die here. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a beautiful country. Yeah. And but, you know, I don't think a lot of people understand though. Like, you know, we're standing here on a white sand beach in front of the Caribbean Ocean. Incredible humans hanging out at your bar. Tell me a little bit about what, since you've been here in Bocas del Toro, has been some of the highlights that keep you here, that excite you, that are like, man, I'm so glad I live in Bocas del Toro. Besides Gringo Bingo. <laughs> That's happening tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, I love the weather. I think we hit the weather lottery here. It's 82 to 83 degrees all year. The water's 82 to 83 all year. It rains a little bit more, rains a little bit less. Who cares? It's a romantic rain, just chill out, enjoy it. Thunder, lightning in June, July. Uh, the people are fantastic. I know they all the, I call them the old guard of Panama, all the. Well, you know, you keep saying, you know, the Panamanians are beautiful culture and they're beautiful yeah. people, but also the expats that move here. I mean, we're quite a lot of creative individuals, right? Ah, uh, most of the expats are all right. <laughs> Except for that one. Ah, chuleta. No, but uh, yeah, the expats are cool. And uh, I actually have more friends here than I have in the States. and. I had great friends in the States, but you know, that many? Here I've got more. Um, all the sex paths, we all get together tonight. It's date night with my neighbor, Monique, who's awesome. My, my wife's in the office working, which is good. 
<laughs> so <laughs> we all get together. We go out Thursday nights. We go dinner group. Uh, you know, there's a whole different click. I, I don't know. It's, it's it's just really cool. Really nice people. The I from the police are fantastic. Uh, to get your building permits is good. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get the traction and know the people, but never come in as the I'm the American or Canadian, wherever you're from, that I know better. Just come in, relax. Go with the flow. Yeah, just be subtle. Shut go up. with the groove. Shut up and listen. Shut up this and is listen. a whole different culture, different world. I, I love it here. So if there's anyone out there like on the fence, like, hey, is it going to get bad in the US? Is it going to get bad in Canada? We already know. <laughs> we already know. So, good. so like anyone out there that's like thinking about Panama, any advice? Besides, sell everything and pack up and go, right? I've been here 13 years. I think my biggest, biggest advice would be... Just do it. Get down here, check it out, maybe rent for six months, look at things, talk to the right people, get your feel on before you buy something. Don't come here instantly. Try it out. You know, I tell a lot feel of it. clients, like, yeah. they're like, well, what should I do? I'm like, should I rent a house here? And I'm like, no. Airbnb here for three weeks. Airbnb there for three weeks. Like, the clients we're here with tonight, it's like... They've been traveling around for three months in this country. Every time they get to a great spot, they're like, Austin, we love it here. All right, I connect with all of our affiliates in that area and we start connecting dots, showing what's going on, what's available, what you can get for your buck, and you know, just making it happen. So I think that's great advice. And uh, obviously, if you're coming to Bocas del Toro, make sure to get over here to Scully's house because what, you have Gringo Bingo, yeah, we got a lot here. We got a lot going on. We got Gringo Bingo. We got a lot of music. Uh, we got tons of different events here. We got a nice hotel here. Nice rooms right on the beach. And if you want to work out with the Sexy Pirate, right here. Oh, sorry. That's my third or fourth name. I've got many names here. Sexy Pirate too? Oh my goodness. So uh, they do. Money you money do money work out. How many? How many days a week are you guys doing work out on the beach? Right now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7:20 on the beach, right here. Tomorrow morning we'll be right here looking at the ocean as we work out in the morning. We're watching the dolphins go by. Love it, brother. It's awesome. You're amazing. I love you, bro. I love being able to hang out with people like this as I travel around this amazing country. You should be doing it too, so we'll see you down here. Come on down. You're going to love it. See ya. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Panna Life again. We're going around the country talking to awesome individuals from outside of Panama that now call this country home. And the whole idea is to allow you to understand the opportunities here in Panama. Now, if you're just at the beginning stages of considering Panama as a place for retirement, relocation, or investment, I invite you to go to our website, dopanama.com. Here, you're gonna find our free 23 question where should I live relocation survey? This is a multiple choice questionnaire that literally takes just three to five minutes. And when you submit that survey, my team will get in touch with you with some great initial observations and recommendations, and then set up a complimentary 30 minute Zoom call with myself. And of course, while you're on the website, if you wanna check out different real estate options, we have our real estate network, which has literally listings from every corner of Panama from our over 95 affiliates throughout the country. That's right guys, we are the buyer's brokers. We work with individuals looking to come into Panama and find that perfect property. And we wanna give you as much opportunity with as many brokers throughout the country to figure out which one is right for you. So guys, stop by the website. If you have any questions or you wanna set up a complimentary call with myself, please reach out to my team, info at dopanama.com or send a WhatsApp message, a phone call or a text message to this number right here that you see on the screen. Guys, it's been beautiful, but it's time for me to go have more fun with the Flying Pirate and all these amazing expats hanging out here at Scully's. So, until next time, ciao!